What's up, everyone? Brandon Melvin bringing you the real estate tip of the week for all you realtors out there. Today, what we're going to cover is how to put a signature line in your Gmail email. Now, if you're new to real estate and you don't yet have an email tied up to your specific real estate business, I recommend going to Gmail, creating an email for that specific purpose. Once you have that, then you'll pick up here. Let's go to the settings button, click that to top right, and then we'll also click see all settings. Once you get there, we'll scroll down and where it says signature, that's what we're going to use today. Now you're going to see I already have one in place, but for today's purposes, we'll create a new one. And then I'm going to title this example for everyone else. And then to save time, I have all of this information already typed out. We'll go back over here and we'll paste it in and make some adjustments as necessary. So once you get here, uh, this top information, uh, feel free to copy all this, obviously, except uh, for my personal information. You want to replace that with yours. We're going to make that be centered. Okay. And then this verbiage here, I'm going to go ahead and we'll copy that. And I'm going to delete it because we'll put it right back in by adding the link to where um, your customers and clients, whoever's viewing your email, will be able to click and uh, you can stay compliant because they'll see your IBS and your consumer protection notice. All right. So we'll put the verbiage in here, text to display. And then now we're going to go get the link. So where we go to do that is our Google Drive. Now, you want to upload these two documents, your IBS as well as your consumer protection notice into your Google Drive. Now I use zip forms, print them to PDF, save them on my computer, and then go to new file upload and you'll put them in there and they will be there for your use. So we'll right click on this, click get link, then another window will pop up here and you'll want to make sure this says anyone with the link, okay? Not restricted, but anyone with the link. Then you'll copy that, click done, go back over here and you want to paste it right there. Now I recommend if you want, test this link so that way you can make sure it's going to go to the right place when a customer or client checks it and cool, we're good. All right, so we'll click OK, and then we'll go down. Again, we want to copy this text. We'll backspace it. And then we go back to the link, put that in the text, paste it there. We'll go back to our Google Drive, right-click that, get the link. Again, anyone with the link, copy it. And you're clicking Done, going back here, pasting that link where it's supposed to go. Okay, and then I also, let's go ahead and make this go in the center as well, so it stays in form. And now <clears throat> you'll see um, your signature, your information can come into play, like best regards, however you want to form that. Now, I recommend putting a picture in there. It's up to you. If you want to, you would click Insert Image, and then find the image that you want of yourself that represents you and your business. Okay, I've clicked it, select it. And then it's going to come in there, it's going to be massively huge. All right, so left click on it, and I recommend using small, and you can see it's much more appropriate in size. And you have all your personal information there your name, brokerage, um, your realtor license, as well as your contact phone number. And here's something cool that's pretty good. Well, what if you were to have all of your customers and clients potentially be able to follow you on social medias? So let's go ahead and take it a, a step further. And we have follow me on Facebook space. We'll uh, put the link in here. So what you want to do is you go to your realtor page, copy that realtor page link. Okay. Then we'll go back to the Gmail, put that in there. And then again, text to display. I like to just put a uh, click here, a little exclamation point. And then we'll click OK. So now it's a live link someone clicks on this, they're going to be brought directly to your real, real estate page on Facebook. Then they can see uh, the latest listings, uh, the latest uh, education that you're putting out there, all kinds of really cool things. All right, so cool that works. All right, and then we'll go down. Now this is where we can take it even a step further. So with eXp, I have access to KV Core at no extra cost, and I can generate multi-page, squeeze pages, single pages, squeeze 
pages uh, for sellers as well. All kinds of really cool stuff, and that's just scratching the surface. But what I have here is a multi-page, uh, multi-property squeeze page, and I'm marketing for New Braunfels, single family. Uh, you can do different price ranges. You can do land. You can do homes with pools. You can do condos. All kinds of really cool stuff. And then you can actually tell uh, the system where it's coming from, so you have record of where the lead's coming from. And then you can change the uh, amount of properties that they get to view before they have to put in their information. Uh, then you can be able to reach out to them uh, either via instantly that you're able to do or set them up on a campaign, which is really cool. So generating that link, you would copy this link. Uh, I already have two different campaigns that I've already saved. So what we'll do is we'll go to save time. We'll click on that, copy it, and then we'll go back over here to the Gmail page and then view New Braunfels uh, Luxury Homes little space we're going to add this link in here okay and then i also want to retitle the text click here with a little exclamation point and then let's go ahead and test it right make sure it works and then this should be what uh, the customers and clients will see when they're on your email they click this oh cool yeah i want to check out the latest luxury uh, listings in your brothels and boom there they go all right so it works great click ok and then now I also want to market to another uh, customer out there potentially, so someone who wants to, to purchase a home under 300,000. All right, so we'll put the link in there, go to the link I already have generated, copy that, and then we'll go back over here, put that link in there. And once again, remove that so that we can have the text. Click here, cool, all right. So that's it. I mean, that was pretty easy, guys. Um, what you want to do now is make sure that you go down here and click save, because if you don't, all of that work will be for nothing. Now, I hope this helps your real estate business. Um, if you like it, please feel free to give the uh, video a thumbs up, comment uh, that you loved it. And if you want any more information or trainings on some cool stuff having to do with real estate, please put that in the comments as well. Uh, I'll put out some new content uh, every week. So I hope this helps. Y'all take care.